Are you listening to something? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cherish Kaya, I'm 21 and I run Kaya Kaya Records. I've been doing Kai Kai Records since about January this year. But I worked at other labels before. It's kind of been something I've been wanting to do for quite a long time. I just think that working for a major, you're just restricted and you have to sell over platinum really for it to kind of make any mark on the world. With an independent label, you can kind of develop artists on your own and you don't have to be spending all the money. It's the kind of people on the ground that actually sell the records that are actually in the shops and kind of pushing independent music. They're the ones that kind of really have inspired me to do my own thing rather than all the, the big boys at the top. So I've signed two acts. The first one is um, these two guys called Stab and Heart and I met the singer because he was my customer at Rough Trade West. He came in one day with a white label and it was his own song. So I had to sell it and I sold it to all the a and of men in the UK because they always come in Rough Trade West. And then the other one are a band called Glass Animals. It's really hard to kind of pinpoint what Glass Animals genre is. I don't really know how to describe it. They're like weaving in between so many genres. I don't have a favorite genre of music, so I would never kind of restrict myself to like specifically signing one type of thing. The best thing about Cherish is her mum. She was on the front of the Top of the Pops album. My mum's really quite open to me doing what I want to do, which is great. And also she played Laser Wham when I was growing up, which is great because she was my, she was my, my fave. All independent labels should be making vinyl still. I think it's really important to have like this product. I find it harder than my age, just how many men are in the music industry. It's really nice to see kind of like younger girls kind of getting involved more. Tonight is our label launch party. Glass Animals, the first band that we signed, are doing a set. And we've got lots of DJs and some free drinks. Apart from the England match, which just kind of fucked everything up, it's going all right. But they won, so we're all going to have a really good time. My mum made me something for tonight. Kaya Kaya Records, Sponge Cake, 2012, copyright. I learned so much of like what not to do, working for other people, and I really wanted to learn what to do. And I think all of the experience I've had is helps me kind of narrow down exactly like what I want and the vision of the label. I want my artists to know what they want. I don't want to have to tell them. It needs to come from them. I don't want to be manufacturing anything. I want to be there to kind of help make what they want to happen happen rather than me kind of telling them what to do. I think it's really important.